Darkseid is among the most powerful beings of the DC Universe, and he is from the race known as the New Gods. And his main superpower, his Omega Beams, is a form of energy that he fires from his eyes or his hands. And he fires them either as a concussive force, a teleporting energy, or a disintegrating energy which is capable of erasing living objects and organisms from existence. Basically, they're an insanely powerful beam he can fire at people, and there are very few beings in the universe who are capable of surviving them. And this video is going to go over the few beings who have been hit with the Omega Beams and managed to survive. Galactus In a rare crossover event between the DC and Marvel Universe, Galactus tries to consume Darkseid's planet, Apocalypse. And so Darkseid attacks Galactus with his Omega Beams, and they do next to nothing to the Planet Eater. Considering the power level of Galactus, it isn't too surprising that he's able to withstand an Omega Blast, but it is a little bit strange that he takes no damage at all. In fact, he barely even notices. The Silver Surfer In the same comic, Darkseid blasts the Silver Surfer, and although he is able to survive the beams, it takes a lot out of the Surfer and incapacitates him for quite a few minutes. Basically, long enough for Darkseid to finish him off which he may have done, if not for the fact that the Surfer and Galactus then decide to leave the planet, as they find that it has no life energy for Galactus to feed upon. Superman Superman has fought Darkseid on many occasions. In fact, he has most likely fought Darkseid more than any other DC hero. And as such, he has been struck by the Omega Beams on several occasions. But on each occasion, he has survived the blasts. He is Superman, after all. Now, usually he just walks off the blast having been a little bit hit, Kind of like being punched in the face really hard. Though on a few occasions, they have actually been quite devastating to him, such as the first time he faced them in Superman the Animated Series. Vandal Savage In the TV show Young Justice, Darkseid hits Savage with his Omega Beams, and technically speaking, it does kill him. But since Vandal Savage is immortal and can heal from any wound, he just recovers and gets back up. Now these Omega Beams are a bit different to the ones we normally see, Normally they blast a person with Omega Energy and pretty much disintegrate them on the spot. But these ones seem to just pierce Vandal Savage like a pair of arrows, going straight through his body. Whether he would survive the Omega Beams of other universes, well that's another story. But these ones, he is very much immune to. Shazam In the film Justice League War, Shazam takes a full blast of the Omega Beams and basically just shrugs it off and is at full fighting force a minute later which is odd since Superman is completely incapacitated by an Omega Beam earlier in this very same film, but I guess in this universe, either Shazam has better durability than Superman, or Darkseid just hit him with a weaker level of Omega Blast. Or it's some bad writing and they just kind of overlooked that, but hey, who knows. Darkseid In the film Superman Batman Apocalypse, Darkseid is thrown into the path of his own Omega Beams by Supergirl, and naturally, he survives the blast, though he is quite hurt by it. And in the show, Superman the Animated Series, Darkseid attempts to use his Omega Beams, but Superman covers his eyes so that the blast hits Darkseid directly in the face, which really hurts him, but it doesn't actually kill him. So it seems that his Omega Beams are just as devastating to him as they are to others. In fact, in the comic book Final Crisis, the Flashes actually manage to lead some of Darkseid's Omega Energy straight into Darkseid, finishing him off. Supergirl in the Superman Batman Apocalypse film, Supergirl is also hit by Darkseid's Omega Beams during their fight. In fact, it's actually Darkseid's way of finishing the fight and finishing Supergirl off. And though Supergirl is down for the count, she is still very much alive. And this is actually by Darkseid's design, as he just wants to beat the hell out of her, doesn't actually want to kill her. And it's actually not surprising that she can survive this. After all, she's not only a Kryptonian, but in this universe, she's actually said to be more powerful than Superman is. Green Lantern In Justice League War, Green Lantern used his ring to redirect the Omega Beams and was able to survive a blast. You could say that he dodged the beams, but really he didn't. He actually took the blast full on and then used his powers to stop it from killing him and deflect it back at Darkseid. So I'd say this definitely counts and that anyone with a power ring and enough willpower could potentially survive an Omega Blast, at least in this universe. Trigon in the film Justice League Dark Apocalypse War, Trigon possesses Superman and fights Darkseid one-on-one. -on -one. And his heat vision is actually more powerful than Darkseid's Omega Beams. 
and even without possessing Superman, Trigon is still more than a match for Darkseid, meaning that Trigon is still able to survive an Omega Blast even when he's in his demon form and not possessing someone. Doomsday Doomsday is a monstrous villain who is immortal, or at least he doesn't stay dead when he dies, but rather just comes back to life even stronger than before. So even if Darkseid's beams were able to kill him, he'd likely just come back and be resistant to them. But Doomsday has managed to survive the Omega Blast on several different occasions. The Anti-Monitor Since he is a galaxy-destroying superbeing, it comes as no surprise that the Anti-Monitor has been able to survive a blast from Darkseid's Omega Beams. And during the Darkseid War, he not only survived several blasts, but he also managed to kill Darkseid, which is a pretty impressive feat even for someone who can destroy a galaxy. Jessica Cruz Now, technically, Jessica Cruz was killed by Darkseid's Omega Beams, but she didn't stay that way. You see, Darkseid had crushed her Green Lantern Ring, and its pieces had managed to absorb some of the Omega energy and then merge it with her body, healing her and bringing her back to life after she'd been burnt to a crisp. So, in a way, she did survive the Omega Blast, kind of. Or at least she didn't stay dead. I'll leave that one up to you to know if it actually counts. Starfire In the show Teen Titans Go, Starfire is hit by the Omega Beams and survives, although it does knock her down. Raven is also able to deflect the Omega Beams since she is wearing Wonder Woman's bracelets and these magical items are able to deflect the beams. The other Titans are blasted back by the Omega Beams, though not disintegrated, although it does look like only Starfire and Raven took direct hits, so that might be why the others weren't killed. And Starfire also manages to survive an Omega Beam hit in DC Superhero Girls, as does Bumblebee. Though these shows aren't exactly DC canon, because these versions of Darkseid and his Omega Beams are much, much, much weaker than they normally are in the main DC universe. So even if Starfire could potentially survive a proper Omega Blast in the main DC universe, there is no way Bumblebee could. And there's definitely no way that Robin, Cyborg, and Beast Boy could. So take these ones with a pinch of salt. Wonder Woman As I said, Wonder Woman can use her bracelets to deflect Darkseid's Omega Beams. Whether she herself could survive is questionable, but since she pretty much never takes those bracelets off, she's always going to be able to deflect the beam. Plus, she is most likely tough enough to survive a Darkseid Blast, even if it did hit her. After all, she's nearly as powerful as Superman, and since he can shrug it off, she could definitely survive it. Firestorm Although Firestorm hasn't actually been hit directly by the beams, he did manage to use his powers of reorganizing molecules to redirect the Omega Beam energy and thus survive them. So I thought it was worth a mention. Orion And another one who's managed to deflect the beams is Darkseid's own son, Orion. Although again, it's difficult to say whether he could actually survive a blast. And in the show Justice League Unlimited, although a few people do actually get struck by Darkseid's eye beams in this show, so it's most likely true that he's not using Omega Beams, but a different kind of energy. Although if they are considered to be Omega Beams, and they don't look like they are, but if they are considered to be, then both Martian Manhunter and Hawk Girl are able to survive them. But again, they don't look like Omega Beams, so I imagine this is a different attack. Batman Batman has not only managed to dodge Omega Beams in the past, but he has also managed to survive being hit by them. Though to be fair, this is because they were never meant to kill him. Everyone thought the Batman was dead after Darkseid hit him with his Omega Beams, but as I said in the beginning, these beams can also be used to transport people to other locations, not just kill them. And this is what he did in Batman's case, sending him back in time, and just tricking everyone into thinking he's dead. With that being said though, Batman has also managed to survive being hit by an Omega Beam. Well, kind of. He uses a Chaos Shard like a lightning rod to attract and absorb the Omega energy thus saving himself from being killed by it. Although if he hadn't had this beam, he would of course been disintegrated on the spot. And he also goes on to use the Omega power to resurrect his son, Damian Wayne, which does actually show that Darkseid's Omega energy does have a lot more uses than just the destruction that he normally uses it for. Calabac In the show Superman the Animated Series, Calabac fails to beat Superman in a fight, and as such, Darkseid decides that he is weak and to get rid of him. So he hits him with his Omega Beams and kills him on the spot. Or at least that's the way it looks. Since Calabac appears later on in this show's universe, then either Darkseid only pretends to kill his son, or he actually just transported him somewhere else. 
or Darkseid just later resurrects him. He is a god after all, and he is capable of doing this. Though it is a little surprising that he spares him, as Darkseid killing his own son makes perfect sense. The guy is a sadist. But I guess he has a soft spot for Kalabak after all. And of course, in several video games, Darkseid uses his Omega Beams to attack others, and they survive. But that is because they are not true Omega Beams, they're just used as a kind of laser vision-like attack. So they don't really count because it's not a proper blast, but I still thought I should mention them. And lastly, in Justice League Dark Apocalypse War, Damian Wayne is hit by Darkseid's Omega Beams and he is killed. However, he is later resurrected and healed by Raven. So it could be argued that he did survive the beam since he did carry on living after he was hit by them. But seeing as how it wasn't actually his power allowing him to survive, it was someone else healing him, well, I'll leave it up to you to decide if that actually counts. And that is everyone who has survived a blast from Darkseid's Omega Beams. Though there are of course others who would most likely survive a blast, they've just never been hit. At least not yet anyway. And personally, I think the best one is Galactus because I just love the way he shrugs off one of the most devastating attacks in the DC Universe like it's absolutely nothing. And it really shows the difference in their power levels. But which of these is your favourite? And are there any other times that someone has survived Darkseid's Omega Beams that you think I missed? Feel free to let us know in the comments. And I'd just like to remind everyone that we have some new merchandise available on our store. And to quickly thank all of you who have donated to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. And as always, thanks for watching, and feel free to subscribe, share, like, and comment.